right, everyone. I'm Morton G here. Welcome to another iRacing video. It's been a while. Hope everyone's been doing well out there. Here we are. We're back season two in 2024. And well, season two is just about to begin. We're still in week 13, the prior season. But of course, the update is in for season two. And of course, as everyone knows, iRacing included rain with this update. And it's been a pretty big game changer, uh, I would say. As me, as someone is just a sim racer, I never, I'm not a real life driver or anything like that. And I'm an average sim racer at best. Uh, it's been a very unique challenge, but I've embraced this challenge. I, I really enjoy it. I love how it changes up the dynamic of the race. Uh, you have to do find different lines, anticipate different locations on the track where there are puddles and maybe that next lap, it's going to be a, a bigger puddle or maybe it's cleared up a little bit then dealing with the spray of the cars in front of you and visibility issues and gaining the confidence as you go each lap and getting a little bit faster and faster. It's kind of just that very interesting dynamic uh, that it adds compared to where we've been. And I'm always up for adding variety and overall making the simulation deeper. So with all that said, here are a, a couple of compilation clips from a couple races I did in the rain this past week. During week 13, uh, this first one video that you've been seeing is from the Norse Lifa in the Audi GT3. And of course, it was quite intimidating getting into a race and it being a Norse Lifa for the very first time. But we did pretty good and almost got taken out there on that blind turn and T-boning that guy. But we <laughs> somehow survived and avoided the accident. Are you able to keep trucking? Here's a quick replay just how close it was. Pretty amazing. And another thing, it's been great to see how the detail of the puddles in the corners and of course the spray and how um, blinding that spray can be. Here we are caught up to this car. We got a great run out of that last turn down the final back straight. And it's a great example of that spray in our face. Able to still get a little bit of slipstream and get the pass off. And there's a car going wild. I don't know. On the outside, a guy losing it. <laughs> so I kind of pinched, pinched uh, the Porsche off a little bit there. As we complete the turn, avoiding that huge ass puddle. Just barely. As we get into the very final few turns. And we end up finishing this race. Actually, P4. Then finally, I have another set of clips uh, using the Mercedes and the Audi at Brands Hatch. Provided a even different view of the rain as it was even more difficult, I found, than racing at the Nordschleife due to the track dynamics and how the rain puddled here. It just felt a lot more slicker and more dangerous. And here you can see me reacting in real time to the incidences. Uh, so enjoy. Before the puddle came up, and so I had to break a little bit as I was going into the puddle, and here we are. Jesus H. I question whether we even have a spoiler still. Yeah, no spoiler. <laughs> Called it. All right, ladies and gentlemen. And away we go. Look at that. Look at that spray though. Amazing, isn't it? Woo, we almost caught it there too. This takes so much concentration in the rain too. Oh. Oh, we're going off. We're going off. Yeah. I Started breaking too late. I almost caught the grass too much there and went spinning. This guy's gonna cut me off. Wow. That was a move. Anticipated that happening though. Oh shit, we hit a puddle. We hit a puddle. I was way further over than I like to go on that on the line there. 
Dang it. Well, folks, that concludes my initial thoughts and experience with the rain under the new Tempest weather system in iRacing. If I have any trepidation, it's with how our safety rating will fare for us lower I-rated drivers when ranked races begin next week. Not as much worried with the crashing into other folks as I am with the accumulation of the 1X and 2Xs that will be acquired throughout a rain race, at least until I'm able to get my skill level acquainted. But with that said, it will not intimidate me from going out there and racing, that's for sure. So folks, if you made it this far into the video, do give it a like and subscribe if you aren't already. And be on a lookout for another video, probably later this week, with my initial thoughts in the Super Formula Light open wheel car. And until then, folks, safe driving.